Hi all, my name is Raj from RCE. Today we go to review Y1 smartwatch. That's a SIM card enabled smartwatch. We go to unbox, check which application need to be downloaded and set up that application with the smartwatch and review the features. So first of all, let us unbox. There would be three things inside uh, the box. First, the smartwatch. One side of the smartwatch, there is a power USB port through which we can charge the smartwatch. Other side is there is a small button which helps us in terms of uh, switching on and other operations. We will do it later on. If we open the smartwatch, we will see a SIM card slot, micro SD card slot through which we can use our social media sites and uh, make phone calls and uh, other phone related features. It comes with a small battery, 380 mAh, which is good enough to work for seven days. Let us refix it back and then close. Okay. So if I switch on, it doesn't work because there is no charging. Here is a charging cable this side it goes smartwatch and other side you can connect through your mobile adapter or laptop usb here is the mobile adapter which you can connect it like this and use the power plug or you can connect through a laptop usb port let me connect to laptop USB port. So this will take at least 15 to 20 minute time to have 30 to 40% charging. Once it is charged, we will get back. Welcome back. Now this watch is uh, almost 30 minute charged, which has sufficient charging as of now. Let me remove it. Close that uh, USB port plug and there is a switch at right hand side, small switch. If I press for 4-5 seconds, this watch starts switching on. So when you switch on first time, date and time is always 000, 11-2015 or 16 and a day. On top, a battery symbol. A music symbol if Bluetooth is on there should be a Bluetooth symbol here is the camera on top of smartwatch so first thing we need to enable Bluetooth into it so if you swipe left or right your menu icons appears in the smartwatch here is a Bluetooth symbol let me switch on it says power off I'm switching on search new device it is trying to search a nearby bluetooth phone through which it can connect let me switch on bluetooth on one of my phone that's a google i mean that's a android phone Okay, I switched on Bluetooth and if you search the device, 
it will display here RCE if you see device name RCE here so it searched let me pair it it sends a code passcode same passcode is visible at both the side allow Y1 access to your uh, contact and call history I'm pairing it up I say yes here if you see Y1S is connected completely so this smartwatch is connected from Bluetooth date and time is yet to be changed if you see that it is still 0002 it means that you need to connect your smartwatch with application so to connect with the application first thing you need to search QR code icon here this is a quick QR code and to you quickly download QC scanner or uh, QR code scanner it is very lightweight file probably 2 MB file available in Google Play Store switch on that put your smartwatch behind camera and open the link you can download it by press arrow here see fun run application name click ok it will download it's a 18 MB file and it will take a little bit time to download from the website the easiest option is that you go to Google Play Store type fun run install it it's a 16 MB file from here so in Google Play Store the application download is quite fast it doesn't take that much of time and here if you see the date and time is still not changed yet I'm opening the fun run application enter fun run click OK it is asking to enable fun run if you have many applications and security features I enabled allow go back to application you will see there are five options below me analysis fun run report and more click the last one more on top you will see three options find your watch BT setting and changing the skin click on BT setting and see your smartwatch Y1S is already connected find your watch if it is saying disconnected BT disconnected try to do it one more time Bluetooth here disconnect and connect it helps in terms of uh, connectivity I'm switching it off okay so it is saying that please release the connection disconnect try to connect back okay RC connected sync the data sync date and time with remote yes so now date and time should have updated as per your mobile phone date and time my mobile phone is saying 3:27 p.m. and if I go to the main screen 3:26, 3:27 p.m. today's date and all other things are updated now if I see the phone book or SMS I clicked on SMS I go on inbox it display all my SMS which is in my mobile phone
go to inbox if you see two icons on top one is the local sms's where we can use it when a sim card is available in this watch and other one second option is that bluetooth uh, inbox of sms which is of your mobile sms so let us run through the feature of the application first fun run me has uh, all your personal information and daily target analysis has uh, the daily step count average step total step for every day fun run has the sports data and sleep monitoring which you need to enable it on your phone every day and this is the sync button data sync is complete report has a historical report about you and more has the information regarding push sms sms will be visible in your smartwatch as we already discussed always push notifications and notification apps so to enable whatsapp facebook twitter you need to enable all these things here first say whatsapp i need to enable it in the application then it will work here to work here whatsapp we need to have uh, a memory card without memory card it may not work let us check to whatsapp function it needs a memory card say insert sim card sorry insert memory card so that whatsapp will function twitter facebook everything requires a memory card so this is the application let us review other features of smartwatch this is your dialer through which you can make the phone call if your uh, sim card is inserted into the watch phone book call logs messaging messaging we already discussed about anti loss feature if you click this looking for phone see phone is started ringing so this way you can find your phone through smartwatch anti loss feature it is off you can on it so whenever you want to search a watch from your phone other way around i mean you can click this find your watch feature and this will start ringing so it functions both the ways this is remote notifications which requires a sim card settings that is your phone setting restore settings by default sedentary so you can enable a sedentary reminder and set up time 30 minute 60 minute which means that at one posture if you sit for more than 30 minute it starts ringing or vibrating calendar pedometer whenever you go for walk or jog you simply switch on pedometer start it will start calculating and pause when you pause it it will display all your uh, parameters and all other information and then if i move forward this is your sleep monitoring now i switched on pedometer it doesn't work which means that at one posture if you stay for 30 minute it will start uh, vibrating but in, at sleep you need to sleep for longer time so you need to stop your sedentary reminder completely and then off sedentary reminder and now your sleep monitoring is start working whenever you sleep you switch on this and switch off alarm you can set up the alarm clock file manager if you put the sim card into it your uh, file manager will work calculator audio file sound recording all of these features will start working so these are the features in uh, y1s smart band or smart watch i would say it's a very good watch available in our uh, 
ऑनलाइन स्टोर www.rconline.in you can purchase from there or if you have any query of this watch you can write to us on our youtube channel we will try to address as soon as possible thank you for today